Good luck, brother. Thanks. You catch any? Nah, a little, little power ball. Oh, okay. Anyways, we're down at the beach and it is mid, no, it's 12.30, almost 1. <laughs> uh, low tides at 3.30 uh, a.m. So, I thought I'd try this beach. If this one's no good, I'm just kind of looking for cuts. Cuts on this beach. If there's cuts, I'm going to check it real good. If there's not, eh, I'll probably leave. Go try another beach. Anyways, let's see what we can find. I'll turn you guys on when I get my first target. Look at the lighting down here. It's pretty actually nice. At least the walk down. Once you get down there, it's a little bit darker. But we actually have a good full moon tonight. Tide's real high. Tide's real low. And there's supposed to be waves coming, but I don't think they got here yet. Yeah, not. They haven't. <laughs> I can see some guy standing on the rocks. If the waves were big, he wouldn't be standing there. Anyways, let's see if we can find anything. Looks like a dry might be good, actually. Huh. We'll find out. All right, here's our first sound. Just a real light. Six. I think one of those paper, aluminum paper things. Like on a drink or something. Yep. Exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> See? You rip, those are like on milk and stuff. I don't know. Let's keep going. Okay. Here's a target. Solid 11. But there is nothing down here other than this. Whatever this is, that's it. Jeez. I can't even get this. What in the world? Oh, is that? I think it's this fishing thing. Yeah, it keeps getting pulled out of my scoop every time I dig it. Oh, just fishing stuff. Let's see what it is. Well, it looks like a little fishing weight. But anyways, that's all we found so far. There's a whole bunch of sand on this beach. I didn't realize. Usually the water is like right, well you can't see, but the sand goes out like really far. I was so surprised. But anyways, one good swell and all that sand will be gone. Uh, somebody caught a fish and just left it on the ground right there. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you can. Oh, well, if you can't, yeah, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm walking out of here and here's a good quarter sound. Should be able to see it. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> it's so loud that I knew I could see it. Anyways, we got a quarter. You never know. I was just sitting here looking at these rocks going, oh, somebody was probably sitting here and something fell out of their pocket. Then my detector went really loud. <laughs> There's a nickel sound, but probably pull tab. Oh no, it is a nickel. All right. So we're getting some change on the way out.
Uh-oh, there's another one. Sounds like another quarter. It is. I think it's all from the same coins. They're all sh nice and shiny. Same coin spill. Like somebody picked up their stuff and all their coins fell out. I think that's it. Well, we did find a few coins in this area on the walk out. Here's another one. Well, I don't know for sure, but it should be. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> but I think that's a bike off a bike, a Roadmaster. Maybe a car, I don't know. Heck if I know. And I found one older dime. So that one probably had been here for a while. We'll see if it's silver when I get home. And other than that, I'm back to the sidewalk and we're gonna go to another beach. The donut shop across the way over there packed it is like 1 45 in the morning this whole parking lot is packed <laughs> it's crazy i had trouble finding parking at 1 45 in the morning all over there by the pier it's all crowded there's people on the beach Anyways, I'm going to turn on my detector and get down there. See if I can give you a view real quick. Just packed all the way down with people. Donut shop has a big line coming out of it. It's like, there's almost as many people at night as there is in daytime. There's a whole bunch of bars over there, so there's a whole bunch of drunk people. I don't know if they're drunk, but they're partying. All right, time for me to go party on the beach. <laughs> well, I see something glowing in the water. I'm going to go out there and see what it is. It's probably attached to a fish. There could be a phone or something. What the heck is that? Underwater. It's a blue light. I hope it's not attached to some big stingray or something. Oh, it's tripping me out. I think it's going out further. All right. Just gonna have to brave up here. I'll just use my scoop. Well, that's where I've never seen anything like that. Underwater light. Uh, I think it's moving. Yeah. Uh. Uh. It's moving this way. I'm like afraid, like it's attached to some big fish, and I'm gonna step on it right when I get out there too dark to tell. I know, I'll turn on my light. <laughs> it's really moving though. Yeah, it's, it's moving too much. I'm not going to get it. I'll check it in a little while, see if it comes closer to shore. Oh, we got our first sound on this beach. It's a penny sound. And I think we got it.
And sure enough, it is a penny. All right, back to it. Boy, I hear drunk people off in the distance. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, we got a good sound here. It's an eight. Should be a good sound. And we got it in a scoop. Pretty sure. Let's see what it is. Get away from the water. Oh, I don't see any gold. Oh yeah, I see something. Looks shiny. What is this? Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Scoop it up. See what it is. Oh, great. These button snaps sound so good. They sound like rings. Just off some of these clothes. Great. Well, that shows that there's stuff down here, though. All right, we got a nickel sound. 13, kind of 14, too, though. So it may not be a nickel. Oh, I saw it. Looks like a penny, actually. No, it looks like a ring. Looks like gold. Oh no. It's a bottle cap. Look at it though. It's a golden bottle cap. <laughs> I got excited there for a minute. <laughs> right beside me there's people doing it on the beach. Kind of weird. Thought they would just do it like I'm walking right here and they're just going at it. Weird. Also, I just realized I'm going over a spot somebody already did. I found a hole. <laughs> uh, right here, there was a hole. And then I, I saw a pile of dirt. Like, I carry it, I carry up my dirt. I found a pile of dirt, right? I mean, sand. Right here, there's a pile. And, uh, then I found that bottle cap right below the pile here. So I'm thinking they found the pull tab and then threw it back down. And that's what I found. So there's probably another detector down here. So I got another pull tab sound. 14. Doesn't sound deep. I'll just try to scoop it. Oh, there's a four right there. I'm more excited about that one than this one. This one is actually a bottle cap. Mike's. But really, I thought it was a pull tab. Let's see what this one is. I'm going to carry it up here, the dirt. I think I see the trash. Nope. And it is trash. Just trash. 
Anyways, back at it. Mm. What the heck? There's another target here. We got this one. Here, I'm gonna throw this up here. And we'll get the other one. This water's right here. I think I, I think I see that one. Yeah. It's an actual pull tab with a the round part, you know. Missing the beaver tail. Anything else? Let's go find out what this other one is. Probably another pull tab, it's 14. Yep, just like I expected. Anyways, let's keep going. Kind of a jumpy signal. And I already started digging it. And I got it. I knew I was going to get it. <laughs> what the heck is that? Something different. What the heck? I don't know what that is. The triangle on top. Oh, and a rock on the bottom. It's pink. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. We'll have to take a better look at that in the sunlight or something. That's a good piece. All right, I'm glad I found that. Gives me hope. I almost didn't turn on the camera. I was like, nah. And then I dug it a little further and he's like, yeah, I better. Uh, back at it. I guess I had the camera on. Didn't, doesn't sound like a good 10, but it is a 10. Sounds more like a little tiny junk. But you never know until you dig it. Nice solid 10 though. Okay, I reduced it down to one little tiny pile. And I scooped that pile up. Bring it up where I can see it. And find the junk. And I'll show you guys. I put it in my bag. <laughs> it's junk. 20, 16, 19, 17. I'm sure it's a penny. Yep, it is a penny. I just dug an 11, I had to dig it fast. Couldn't get the camera on fast enough. <laughs> 
I didn't want to lose it because it's out in the water. Let's see what it is. Uh, see if I even got it. Yeah, that's a nice solid 11. I see something, I think. And I see a ring. Now, is it gold? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> hey, we got a spinner ring. Hey, that kind of kind of sucks. I, I mean, it rings up as gold. You just can hope it can be gold, but it isn't always. Probably stainless steel. <laughs> Anyways, we got a ring. Oh, back at it. We got another sound in the same area. Uh, the water is rushing in and out. Not very hard, but... Not even that great of a number, but you never know. I, oh, that's a worm. I thought I saw a fishing line. <laughs> now I thought I saw a ring. No, it's a bottle cap. Pacifico. Okay, back at it. Well, I haven't had a signal in a while, but we got one right now. 13. I'm thinking nickel. I'd love to be wrong. I think I am wrong. I see gold. I see gold. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, look at that. I only saw like that part of it. <laughs> I was thinking that it's a huge gold ring. But no, it's just an earring. Doesn't look like gold. I mean, it could be, but I, I highly doubt it. All right, back at it. I found this big cluster, but it looks like a penny might be right there. Looks like something might right th right there too. I don't know. I'll get it off the beach because it is trash. Okay, see the world's biggest sand crab in there? <laughs> he actually has pinchers. Let me see if I can turn him over. Ugh. You can only see the bottom of him. But you get the idea. Let's set him free. Oop. Turn him over. There he goes. <laughs> There was a dime right by him, too. I dug him up with a dime. Luckily, I didn't, you know, cut him in half. Because <laughs> the scoop can actually hurt those things. Anyways, back at it. I just dug a... I don't know what it is. It might be a ring. I think it is. I don't know what it is actually, but it looks pretty cool. We'll check it out when we get home. <laughs> I've been digging up pennies in this area. This is a 24, 27, 23. It's a little different sounding. Oh, 
probably still a penny, but figured I haven't done a dig in a little while. Sounds like a crusty one, if it is one. They have all been crusty, so. Well, maybe it's a dime. Twenty-five. Jeez. Finally. Uh, it is a penny. Huh. It's actually a copper penny, though. So, what is it? Nineteen. Doesn't really matter. It's not a weedy. 1984. Anyways, back at it. Well, somehow when I was digging that last target, some guy got in another metal detector. Got kind of in front of me here. Oh well, I'll move. It was like I was almost to the pier right here. And then there's a guy between me and the pier now. Weird. Alright, we made it home. And... We got some treasure. Um, starting with the pennies here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten pennies. Now they're not all spendable. A couple of them are crusty. I'd say half are crusty, half are spendable. We got one nickel. Uh, we got the Roadmaster. I'm thinking it's from a bike. We'll just call it that. We got a tent stake, a couple of bottle caps. Two quarters, a button snap thing, five dimes. We did good on the dimes. Um, pull tabs and other random trash. And that big blob, I'm probably never going to do anything with it. So we'll probably just throw it in the trash. That's all metal detecting trash right there. Almost all of it. This will go in the trash. Trash trash uh, -uh. uh we got a fishing weight with a a ceviche rig whatever they call it ceviche rig. i can't say that never mind bottle caps in the trash tent steak i know some people collect them or at least one person i know collects them in the trash i should let them dig through here i have probably thousands hundreds of them in there <laughs> um yeah, oh no, I forgot about the good stuff. We got one earring. Oh, and I forgot to look. We got a, I think it's a spinner ring. May not be because I can't really get it to spin. It's not anymore. <laughs> there's like a cat face on the, all the way around there's eyes and whiskers and a mouth. This I think is the find of the day. Uh, it's pink and black rock. Maybe it's a... I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking it goes on a necklace. But I'm not sure. But I like it. I'm calling it the find of the day. And the, the gold earring is obviously not gold. I mean, I could just tell by looking at it. It's just not gold. I mean... It, I guess it could be. And this, I forgot to look and see if it was silver. But I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, I do not see any writing on it. So even though I'm pretty sure it's silver, it doesn't say it. So we're going to say, no, it's not. But this, no. And I think it's partially broken right there. One side of it's broken. So if it was silver, it probably set it on that. <laughs> Anyways, that's our hunt. Hey, we did pretty good. And if you haven't never seen the airplane wing, I had planned on shining this up and putting it in a video. <laughs> but again, I never find time to do it. I mean, I got the time, but it's like I need, I looked it up, you need like this 
that wet dry sandpaper real light you know you got to go through a couple steps and then this stuff will shine though like a mirror image uh it's aluminum that's it weighs about 35 pounds and I, I looked up the tip of this this goes like right on here and this alone is 50 70 dollars they sell for so i could probably get 50 for it those those sell for 70 dollars i was so surprised um we'll take a quick look at some of the strawberry uh they're just going nuts right now all these branches were sticking up straight up like the leaves are kind of like that and then the weight of the strawberries <laughs> pulled them down so i just noticed there's one in here look at that baby oh the bugs are starting to get to it oh. i picked it got one hole in it right there but i'm gonna eat it right now even though it has a hole i don't care a strawberry hiding there there's, they're just everywhere there's going to be a lot of strawberries on here tonight so there's your strawberry anyways I dropped the tip of my airplane and I still have that little bike that I bought and actually I got some more stuff at the yard sales this weekend but I don't remember what it was um I'm, I'm trying i'm gonna go ahead and sell this but what if i actually post it i i just need to do it quick it's a schwinn my fair lady stingray um pretty good little uh bike to restore it's not that bad then i'm decided to keep this one i found out it's a 1958 yard cell find uh, by the way uh spitfire schwinn cruiser um you can see the original paint right there somebody had covered it with black though sprayed it it probably uh, helped it and i need the front badge and then i bought a couple of ladles but i'll show you guys those later get it ladle later and last but not least if you've been watching when I transplanted this tree, look how good it's doing now. I'm trying to show you guys like in each video how it's coming along, coming along. It's ready to move to the pool now. I'm going to go put it by the pool because this is a, just a junk area. If you look over the fence there with nice pool and really nice plants and everything. Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> Remember I showed you in my pile here? Uh, sweet potatoes just started growing out of it automatically by themselves so what I did is this is the pot that I rescued this out of and I just transplanted some of the sweet potatoes over here so I'm gonna have a bucket of sweet potatoes and I think I already showed you that in the last video but I can't remember and yeah that's it that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed watching it I enjoy making it. I don't enjoy the drive down there. It's a long drive, but it's not too bad. I'll see you guys in the next one.